All right, so good morning, everyone. Let's get started. So today we are going to talk about HBase installation. Now, HBase installation is very, very simple. All you need to do is a couple of things. Number one, download. Download HBase. Okay. Second, extract the downloaded HBase. Third one, create a symbolic link. Right? Fourth, configure in Bash RC. Okay? Fifth, configure uh, Java and few properties in edge base configuration okay and sixth is start edge base service okay so at a very high level all you need to do is you need to uh, follow this uh, you know four five six steps and your edge base would be installed let's directly jump into the uh, you know documentation and we'll get started with the installation part so i'll share my screen now all right Look into this. We have our edge base installation documentation here. I'll just correct it one thing here. Like it is 1.4.6, 1.4.6. Okay. Now, in order to download edge base, you can either go to edge base website or you can go to, uh, you know, archive Apache list. Both of them would give you the same uh, result. So I have opened uh, archive apache.org slash disk. So from here, I can just go and say edge base, right? And we have a lot of versions here. Okay, that is one thing. Other thing is you can just say edge base download. You can go to this place as well, okay? Now here, if you see, you get a lot of versions, right? So you have 2.4.2, 2.3.5 and so on. Now, what we have is we already have Hadoop 3 installed, okay? And I have seen that Hadoop 3 is not working with HBase 2.4.2 does not work with Hadoop uh, 3 as of now. Okay. So the latest, uh, I mean, uh, the version which I was able to make them run is, is this HBase 1.4.6. Okay. HBase 1.4.6, not even 1.6.0. I tried this as well, but you can give it a try. That should not be a problem. But I've seen this is one of the most stable and running version with Hadoop 3 as well. Okay, so we will go and download HBase 1.4.6. So I'll go back here. Now go and look for HBase 1.4.6. This is what I have tried. Okay, I have not tried 1.4.7 and so on. I tried 1.6.0 did not work. Okay, but I did not try 1.5.0. So you can go ahead and try some of them. Okay, most eventually this should also work. But that's okay. We will stick to 1.4.6. Okay. So we'll go to 1.4.6 and we will get this downloaded. Right. So copy this link, uh, save uh, link, copy link address. Okay. And now we'll go back here and just say paste. Okay. So it is same archive apache.org disk hbase 1.4.6 hbase 1.4.6 bin dot right so that, that's how you'll be basically downloading like you'll just say uh you'll go to you know ecosystem folder we already have created ecosystem folder earlier because i believe we have installed uh hive and scoop on the same location right so just go to the ecosystem folder and you know fire this command and your edge base would get downloaded right so i'll go back to home open in terminal Okay, I'm inside ecosystem, PWD. I'm inside slash home SD user ecosystem. Here you just say wget and hit enter. And this should download your HBase. Okay, so th that's how you'll basically download the HBase. Otherwise, download it locally, something like this. Download it locally, something like this. Copy paste and uh, copy and paste it in your uh, ecosystem folder. That should also work, right? So anything can be okay. 
the inter make sure that your internet is also working within your ubuntu okay so if you see uh, it is downloaded successfully okay i'll go back to this ecosystem here and you'll see our edge base 1.4.6 is installed successfully okay next now what we will do is we will extract this right so download is over we'll go back to the documentation and we will extract this 1.4.6 bin tar dot zz okay so the command is tar hyphen t vf edge base jar dot zz so go back here and say paste right so this extracts your zip file into a folder called edge base 1.4.6 all right so we got edge base 1.4.6 right next create a symbolic link so this is how you will basically create a symbolic link this is how basically you will create a symbolic link now i'll go back here and say paste okay ln hyphen s edge base 1.4.6 edge base so this creates a symbolic link called edge base done next now you have to update them in your base rc so i'll just go to base rc file and edit add the entries of edge base right so go at the last and you will by default not have these lines these two lines would not be present is not it even enter and then just copy these two lines then escape colon wq next now once you have added your base rc now it's time to upload few things in your edge base site dot xml okay so just go to your edge base site dot xml which is present inside your edge base corner folder so we'll go back here edge base configuration folder hit enter and go a little down and you'll find them with no entries in this uh, versions right so press i enter within this configuration you will just have to add these two lines and say paste escape colon wq done it is saved next now check what is your java home says it says my java home is pointing to slash user local java jdk so just go ahead and add it that in your edge base environment dot sh okay go a little down uh, here okay go a little down you will find java home right just beneath that say i insert and then add your java home done right next once it is done you will have to delete certain jar files and what is that jar file that is slf log 4012 because this jar file is already available in our hadoop environment and if you don't do the if you don't delete them then there would be a conflict of this jar file which one to choose so uh, recommendation would be to delete you know it from your edge base installation don't go and delete from hadoop installation all right so the first thing is i will just say ls slash home sd user ecosystem edge base lib under lib you should find that the jar file directly in this version in the in the in the you know um, latest version you will find you will not find this sl 4j di file directly under your lib there is a jar called third party uh, uh, library inside that you will find there is a folder called third party library inside that you will find this jar file but in this in this case in this particular version you get the jar file here itself so we have 1.7.10 okay so i have only one file so i can just say rm okay so it is important first to locate what is that jar file and once you get the version you can remove that particular jar file 
next now all of this are done now what we will do is we will start our hadoop service so go back here and say uh, start all dot sh okay so we have started our hadoop services just a jps okay so when you do jps you can see 1 2 3 4 5 five services are up and running now to start you will also have to start your hbs and the command is start hbs.sh okay so just say start hbs.sh okay this is also done now if you see uh, i'll do a jps again Okay, now because of your HBase installation, okay, because of your HBase services are up and running, you would see H region server, you would see H quorum PA, and you will see H master. These three services should be up and running. And if you have a problem uh, with any of the services, then your HBase installation is not successful. Okay, so at the end of the day, you must have these three services up and running, and these three services are basically from HBase. We'll talk about that in the architecture of HBase, but right now, uh, just understand that all you need to have these three services up and running okay next now once it is done right once it is done check if your hbase directory is created or not so by default it should go and create a folder in this location let's let's give it a try okay just a minute i think it is created in some other location maybe it's less tmp because that was for new okay we will figure it out but it creates a folder in some location okay now now once it is done i would suggest you to go back and you know also launch your hbs master okay so just copy this and and we'll go back to okay so open your browser right open your browser here and just say paste all right so you should see this you uh, ui so you should basically see this ui Okay, so just type localhost 610 master status and you should see this UI which says that your services are up and running. And if you see the temporary folder is like this in this version, okay, in the newest version, the, the version is different. So let me just say Hadoop FS hyphen, uh, you know, temp, copy this and I'll go back here. Earlier I was saying Hadoop DFS hyphen LS slash TMP HBase, right? But let, let us not do that. Let's say HBase hyphen uh, HD user slash HBase. Okay. So in the older version or the version, whatever we are using, it basically goes and creates a temporary fo uh, folder here. Right. And if you can see, there are so many folders that, that got created as part of this. So I'll update this in the document as well. So when you uh, when you go and install the recent version, this would be the location, okay? But as I have told you, it does not work. Uh, the recent version does not work with Hadoop 3 right now. So we will have to wait for some more time to have those recent versions working with Hadoop 3. <coughs> Sorry. All right. Now, once this is done, once this is done, let's try to launch our HBase cell. Okay. So we'll go back here and you can, if you want, you can, you know, close this terminal because you have done all the configurations just now and open a new terminal and just say paste. Okay. So we got the HBase terminal. It says use help to get the list of supported commands and use exit to quit this interactive cell. So this is called as your HBase cell. So let me just try saying help. Okay. So it says this, it says these are the, you know, some of uh, the commands that is supported by your HBase. Okay. Now, before we close this discussion, I also wanted to make sure that this HBase is running fine and smooth. So what you do is once you have created this HBase, once you've installed this HBase, at least I would like you to do what you know, at least run one command. Okay. At least run one command. Let's try to create a table. Okay. I'll just create, try to create a table. 
so that we can see if our commands are getting executed or not because sometimes what happens the installation may be successful but then while you are trying to execute any command it may not work so that should not happen so at least try to execute one command to see if the commands whatever you are executing are working or not so let me check what happened here it is it is it is saying table already exist because i created them long back earlier so let me say it's base table 3 create test table 3 cf1 all right so if you see it says the table is created that means that the command is working which means we have successfully installed our edge base and this is working well okay so i want you guys to stick to the same version okay uh you uh, go ahead and uh, do the installation with the same version that is 1.4.6 and you can try uh, to use some latest version as well but if that that does not work that should not be a problem because at the end of the day we are here to learn the development okay questions